Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about blueprint interfaces and what are those and how do we use them. Because today without blueprint interfaces we cannot really create a scalable game. Because if we go to right click and for example we reference view our character, you can see here this is his dependencies and this is what we load once we load this BP. As you can see. But through the game, if you continue casting and stuff, this is going to be full of stuff and obviously not good for the performance. So, how I look at this is if I can stay efficient, I better do, you know? So, let's, uh, let's show how to communicate between blueprint interfaces. So, first, how do we create one? So, if we right click, blueprint, blueprint interface, let's call it BPI tutorial. And the first function here is going to be created immediately. And you can see here we have something, but we cannot really add it, right? So we have uneditable function, because this function is going to be edited elsewhere. So if I press F2, I'm going to rename this to hello world. I can also add another function and let's call this remove health. For example, this is just pure example. For hello world, I will have input simple string. Select string text. So these inputs are gonna help us later on to determine what do we want to you know, uh, input inside of other function. And this remove health is going to have integer or rather float amount. So now you can see we, we created two functions but they are totally uneditable here. So if we press compile and save, now here we can just simply in class settings, we are right now in the third person character but you can do it this anywhere, you can implement PPI tutorial, and once you have done that, if we press compile and save, under the interfaces we will get our functions. So let's open hello world first. This function here can be just like all the regular function, not function, event, sorry. This event can be edited as we like. So for example, I'm gonna print string and this text is going to be my print string text. So we cannot do anything right now with that, right? But what we can do is we can communicate between blueprints right now. So even if I go to my third person game mode, I don't have to cast to my character. I can just simply on event begin play I can simply pull hello world and it needs to be a message. So there you go. The target is where our um, interface is uh, located. So in our case it's going to be get player character. And the text will be hello world. So right now what we just did is we transferred the information from this one, this blueprint, to this blueprint, without casting. So we call this event without casting. And why is this good? Well, it's good because we're gonna load this. For this example, this is going to be loaded already, but for the other actors, right? We're gonna load the actors only when we call them. They're not going to be loaded on the begin play. We're not going to be casting directly to anything. So if I press play now, I should say hello world. But what if I want to say hello world test 2 is going to update? Yes, it is. So we are basically casting, uh, we are basically communicating without casting. And this is very performant and very scalable 
and your games are going to be you're gonna have su such an easier time doing your games with knowing this okay so what about health let's say we have health so we're gonna add variable health it's going to be a float and by default it's going to be 100 so let's say I want to remove this health I would simply call this event remove health and I would get my health and I would subtract but I would subtract the amount that I have inside of my event input that's why we created input amount and this would be my new health of course there goes more uh, where you check if the player has zero health to check if he's dead but this is just tutorial and at the end I will print string the remaining health so I created this event just like every other normal event but now to get this event I don't need to cast so for example if I create another actor BP monster for example let's say he on begin play is going to remove health of course uh, you would put this remove health when he actually attacks you but it's just tutorial so again the target is where the blueprint interface is located in our case it's character so get player character and amount is going to be 10 or you could make this a variable so now you have damage amount variable inside of your monster and you can simply adjust it so now I'm gonna get this actor inside of my game just so the begin play starts and it's going to remove 10 health from me as you can see I have 90 health it loaded let's make it red so it's easier to see as you can see it dealt me 10 health and we just communicate between our blueprints as well so we are using blueprints interfaces every time we want to communicate with something and uh, you can use this for 90% of the things right sometimes you will need to cast but this will save your game performance and also the um, blueprint interface system is used in my interaction series so what uh, what my interaction series do is I will post screenshot on the screen as you can see when we get our line trace and when line trace hits something we are calling a message on interact and then we are setting up the different kind of interaction events in every single actor so I hoped this was a little bit clear for you I hope I helped you a little bit with this and trust me this is going to be time saver but not not only time saver but this is going to increase your game performance as well so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video this tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support.